Hey everyone, Jamie here. Welcome to your second HTML tutorial. Uh, in the last tutorial, we just learned how to set up a basic HTML web page and uh, what HTML is all about. So if you missed that one, feel free to go on over and take a look. Um, but in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to add and space text. Um, obviously, in HTML, text is one of the most important things, I guess you could say, that there is because you're trying to display information to users, um, text, pictures, stuff like that. But we'll concentrate on text in this tutorial. In the last tutorial, you saw how we can add text just by typing a bunch of characters on the screen, and that'll then be output to the browser. But there's different ways we can add text and space text, so I figured I'll go over those in this tutorial. So, as you'll notice, I cleared the entire canvas, basically, of the code that we had last time. So, let's reset up our HTML page. Actually, let's choose our language here. Okay, we'll set up our, use our beginning or opening HTML tag and our closing tag. Add a little more space here. And then we'll add our head tags. And I'll just remember that everything that goes between two tags has the settings of the tag applied to it. So for example, anything that goes between the HTML tags here has the HTML attribute basically applied to it. So anything between these head tags is going to be in the header of the web page. So inside the header, we'll add a title a closing title tag. And also if you'll remember the title goes up here in a web page so in Firefox you'll notice that the Mozilla Firefox start page happens to be the title of the web page and I can show you that by going to view the source and here's their title. It's using some other code in, inside of the title I believe but that's where their title is located. Anyway back to our code. So our title we're going to call this I don't know, whatever you want to call it, well, I'll call it text tutorial. Okay, so now we can add our body tag and our close body. We'll kind of space this out nice. Okay, so anything that goes between here is going to be our body, and this includes texts, pictures, links, anything like that. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to oops, add some text. And there's a couple different ways we can go about doing that. Um, we can just Actually, let me save this first. File, save as. We'll call this second HTML tutorial. And we'll save that to the desktop. Okay, so like I was saying, there's a couple different ways to add text, and they can do different things, and some of them are similar, but as you'll see, as you saw in the previous tutorial, the first way that we can add text is just by typing anything on the screen here. And that should appear in the body of the um, of the HTML page, provided that you put it between the two body tags. So if we go ahead and we save this, and then we open it up in Firefox. So we'll go to Firefox, new tab, open file, and this is second HTML tutorial. You'll see that notice that we have anything on the screen, which is what we typed in our code right here. And uh, you'll also notice our text tutorial title, which is right here in the code. So this is one way to add text, but as you can see, it's right up here on the top top left of the screen so um, and, and if we type any text like space beside it or underneath it like let's say we have want to have a second line of text and we save that go over here refresh you'll notice that the second line of text is actually right next to the first line of text even though in our code we placed it underneath and this is because HTML is basically parsed or viewed by the browser as just one continuous line so we need to we need to basically tell the browser that we want to have a space and even if we insert a space right here uh, it'll still be there and we can insert a bunch of spaces if we want to and again it'll still be right there that's because it's read basically one thing after the next by the computer so one way that we can space text is by using the BR tag and what that means is line break and this is how you use a BR tag there's no opening or closing tag it's just one tag um, you can also use it like this without the slash, but uh, it's up to you however you want to use that. I tend to use the slash, but either way it'll work. So what this will do is this will break down to the next line um, between any two things you can have. It can be two pictures, two links, two lines of text, whatever you want to do. And as long as you have this BR tag, it'll create a space. So I'll show you what that looks like over here. And as you can see now, um, the second line of text appears underneath anything on the screen which is kind of what we'd wanted to have in the first place. And if we put more than one BR tag, 
it'll create another space. Now it's basically double spaced. And uh, depending on what you want your website to look like, these can be useful. Um, and you can also actually add it right after a line of text, and it'll still have the same exact effect. It doesn't really matter where you put it as long as it's after the line of text and before the line of text that you want to space. So I'll uh, show you another thing. We'll add a third line of text down here. And we can space this out using uh, the BR tag without the slash, and it should have the same exact effect. Uh, it's just a different style. You can do whatever you want with it. But Okay, so let's go back to our first line here. And another way you can space text is by adding a paragraph tag. And what a paragraph tag does is it basically creates a paragraph of text using the text that's inside of the tag. So for example, let's say we want to create a paragraph. And this is the paragraph tag. It consists of just two brackets and the letter P for the opening tag and the closing tag is the same thing with a forward slash. So I can say this is a basic or this is a paragraph. We save this, go on over to our browser and open it up. And you'll notice that it looks exactly the same as if we were to type it without the paragraph tags. So this is a paragraph. It doesn't really look like it's doing much, but you'll notice that if you add text after the paragraph tags, that it'll actually space it out similar to how a break tag will do. So if we put a P here and create a paragraph, and then we create this is not a paragraph, but a second line of text. We save that, come on over. And you'll notice that it, the paragraph tag automatically creates a space between this paragraph and whatever's underneath it or above it. So for example, if we put some more text here, save it, come on over and open it up, you'll notice that the paragraph e creates even spaces between the paragraph itself and whatever happens to be above it or below it. So <clears throat> this is actually this comes in handy if you're writing multiple paragraphs. For example, if we were to this is cool, similar. Oops, that said cook, cool, similar to a line break tag, and we take this and copy it and paste it in there a couple times. And a cool thing about paragraph tags is that, or any basically opening and closing tag is, doesn't matter if it's underneath something or. Uh, right next to it, it still has the same effect on anything that's inside of the tag, so uh, we'll just keep it underneath it, keep it between these two tags just to make it look organized. So anyway, this will show you how it works here. So even if you have a paragraph of text, it'll still keep the spacing exact uh, for whatever happens to be above or below it. If we were to include this right here in a paragraph tag, oops. You'll notice that it has basically no effect. Uh, yeah, no effect. And it also, but anything that we have above this text will be spaced out. So it's good to use this tag if you're creating just multiple paragraphs of text, or you just want to space something uh, in a in a particular way, um, and don't want to have to keep typing in br tags. Um, it it works. You can you can have multiple br tags within a paragraph tag if you want, and it'll space up the text if you want to. Um, but basically this is one way that you can go about spacing text, um, e either using the BR or the paragraph tag. And um, you can also use it to space out other things, links, pictures, uh, stuff like that. So feel free to play around with that for a while. And uh, you can you know, try to maybe adding in some, some more paragraphs, see what it looks like. And then the next, in the next tutorial, we're going to learn how to color text and format text, stuff like that. So uh, feel free to check that out as well. Anyway, thank you for watching, and have a nice day.